Hi Capricorn, this is your September 2nd through uh, the 8th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads on this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at a new love entering your life. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three will be love from the past. In the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, the fifth, the final spread, will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this way, Capricorn. Uh, we have the Three of Pentacles, uh, we have the King of Swords, clarified by the Sun, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Empress and uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, and we also have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have Earth, fellow Earth. Taurus, uh, Virgo, or not a Capricorn, and uh, we have a Libra and uh, um, Leo, <laughs> right? But uh, I got to be honest with you, Capricorn, and I want to thank you. I'd like to thank you, Capricorn. This is a fairly straightforward reading. It doesn't make it any less beautiful. It's an amazing reading, but it's a fairly straightforward reading, right? Because uh, the first three cards that came out were the Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. So that kind of tells the story. <laughs> that kind of tells me how you meet this person or how you've already met this person, right? And uh, most importantly, we have you, the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the King of Swords. So thank you, Capricorn. Very straightforward reading, right? So. Um, the King of Swords is most likely an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. If they're not an air sign, they could be somebody who is like very intelligent, somebody who is like a doctor or a lawyer, somebody who's got a degree in something, very smart individual, right? Or they could wear a uniform for work. Right? The Three of Pentacles, the very first card that came out, it is a card of collaboration and it is a card of a cooperation or it's a card of when a group of people get together and uh, do something together. So for some of you, it could be somebody you work with or could start working with this week. Um, it could be somebody who works in the same building, somebody who works for another company. Right, and maybe your company and their company, you guys are in, those two companies are in business. Um, it's also a card of... Um, uh, some kind of um, consulting gig, right? It could be happening during a consulting gig of some sort. It could be a card of just simply a group of people getting together and going hiking, right? <laughs> it could be a group of people getting together and going to the gym or taking uh, a dancing class. You get the idea. It involves a group of people, <laughs> all right? Um, as I was clarifying the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, I simply ask how will each one of you feel about what's going on and you guys are on board 100%, right? The Sun, Clarifying the King of Swords could be a Leo. You're dealing with the Sun is a card of clarity. So this person will be crystal clear what they, how, what they feel towards you and how they feel in general in your presence when the two of you are together, right? And at the same time, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck, you know? <laughs> so I think this person is going to be as happy as a clown. Right? You, on the other hand, you're clarified by the Ace of Wands. This is the, uh, Aces are always new beginning cards, right? The Ace of Wands is a very passionate Ace, Capricorn, right? A very passionate Ace, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so you're going to be super excited about this too. Um, and the, the rest is history. The rest really is history. You know, the rest of the spread is also very, very straightforward, Capricorn, right? On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, um, Earth sign indicator towards Virgo Capricorn, but uh, the Knight of Pentacles is all about making long-term plans. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is, long-term plans, planning your future together, you know, establishing a solid foundation and planning 10, 20, 50, 100 years into the future together. Right? It's the most grounded, serious, long-term oriented night out of all four nights and the most financially abundant night out of all four nights. In the potential outcome, it's a family. That's what we have in the potential outcome. The Empress is a wife figure, spouse figure, mother figure. Okay, And uh, the Empress is sitting right next to two marriage cards. Not one, but two. Both the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands are both marriage cards. In the four of ones, as you can probably see, we have uh, two people in it, 
right? That's you on your King of Swords. <laughs> and the Four of Wands is often referred to as the 1111 card. The Four of Wands always reminds me of an actual wedding. The Ten of Pentacles is a rock solid commitment of marriage. This is something you would expect after the Knight of Pentacles shows up. Right? It's like a logical continuation from the Knight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is also a card of uh, a pile of cash. <laughs> it's a kind of real um, real estate, right? And uh, yeah, that's, that's, it's awesome. And the Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. It's always a good sign to have the Empress in your reading, Capricorn. So yeah, beautiful, amazing, straightforward, awesome reading. Really happy for you, Capricorn. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, Capricorn, this spread is for you. Um, we have the Fool, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups, and we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. Well, I don't know if, um, if you're religious or what your religion is. If you're a Christian, then perhaps uh, Christmas came early <laughs> this year. Uh, but jokes aside, yeah, this spread right here is a wish come true. Straightforward. Wish come true. Because we have two cards in a tarot deck that could be interpreted as wish come true and both of them are on the table. Both of them are present, both of them are here. The Nine of Cups and the Star are the two wish come true cards. So somebody here is at least in the business of granting wishes, <laughs> okay? The Fool, the first card I came out could be an Aries, you know, but the Fool could be a card of like being spontaneous. It's a card of, hey, let's just do this. We always wanted to do this, well, let's, let's grant a wish to ourselves, <laughs> right? Uh, the Two of Cups, the next card I came out is when two people are on the same page, and then we have that Nine of Cups, the Star, two wish come true cards, and the Three of Cups, uh, clarifying the Nine of Cups is a card of a celebration, right? Celebration. I don't know what you're doing, again, it could be a bit spontaneous, perhaps you always wanted to do this, you always wanted to go, you always wanted to buy this, you always wanted to go to a party or, or throw a party, but you've been putting it off for whatever reason, this week you're doing it, right? You're, this week you're going to be like, you know what, why not? We always wanted to do it anyway. So let's, let's uh, celebrate something called love and celebrate something called life. It's, this spread, this whole spread is a very happy spread. But the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Fool, these are all happy cards. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Capricorn, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Uh, we have the Six of Cups, the King of Wands, uh, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Wands, and we have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You can be dealing with a fire sign. Here is Leo Sagittarius. Another straight-to-the-point reading, Capricorn. Thank you. <laughs> so you got this King of Wands um, coming back to you, right? With that Six of Cups, the first card I came out, which is a card of somebody coming back from the past. But you're definitely not taking this person back. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't even answer their text or if you don't answer their phone call, if you block them, right? If you already blocked them, perhaps they found a different way to reach out to you and then you're going to block that. Right, because the Ten of Swords, the last card that came out, it's like, uh-uh, no, access denied, goodbye. Right, they do feel sorry. <laughs> they do. To be fair to them, they do feel sorry with that Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It is a card of a regret, disappointment, grief, but you're like, um, no, you can take your sorry <laughs> and shove it, and shove it. All right, yeah, you're not taking them back, you're taking, you're sending them back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Capricorn, this week. Uh, we have the Hermit, clarified by Temperance. We have the Devil. Um, then we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Knight of Wands. And uh, we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Mm, you could be dealing mm, maybe with a fire sign. There is Leo Sagittarius. We also have uh, Virgo on the table. And most importantly, we have you, the Devil. The Devil in the middle, that's you, Capricorn. That's your major arcana card. Um, it's possible you're dealing with um, another person or group of people. It's possible. Maybe you're like patiently waiting for someone or a group of people, right? And what's actually happening this week, this week is all about taking action. This week is like a launch, launch of something. Right, the launch of a product, launch of start of some kind of a new project. Uh, you could be going on a trip this week, um, or something along those lines, right? Because so, to the left from the devil, those are very slow moving cards. Slow. If 
None whatsoever, right? The hermit is not a speedy card, neither is temperance. Temperance, as a matter of fact, nobody is ever in a hurry with the temperance card. All right, it's a card of patience, it's a card of balance. Um, the hermit is all about going within, doing some soul searching, thinking about stuff, going through some kind of a thought process. We're right in the middle of a, a Virgo birthday season right now. A hermit is a Virgo major kind of card, right? But with those two cards, it's like it could be you who's been very patient with something, or you, perhaps you've been creating some sort of a strategy. Right? Some sort of a, maybe you're coming up with a strategy, you have been coming up with a strategy, thinking through all the steps, plan A, plan B, plan C, right? But this week there's definitely a launch with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands to the right from the Devil. And the, actually the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Those three cards are all action-taking oriented cards. They all are. Right? Whereas the Hermit and Temperance are all about, hey, let me think about it. <laughs> the other three cards, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands, definitely take an action. So something is starting this week. It's like a launch, like I said. Um, or you're going somewhere or something along those lines. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Capricorn. But at this point, you already are hopefully expecting this. So we got the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Will of Fortune, and the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So if that King of Swords looks familiar to you, it's the person we saw in the first spread. Yep, new love spread. So this spread is simply like a redacted, a, a shorter version of the first spread. As soon as I saw the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I knew this was simply a repeat of that, right? And we also have uh, um, the Ace of Wands here. Um, the Ace of Wands is all about passion, right? Passionate new beginning. The Two of Cups is here, it's a soulmate card. And the, the Wheel of Fortune on the, uh, right next to the deck, it, it is a start of a cycle. So yeah, that, it also, all these cards tell the whole story, right? The Ace of Wands, passionate, new beginning, getting cozy with one another, getting super excited, getting inspired by this, right? The Two of Cups is when two people are on the same page, it's a soulmate card. The Wheel of Fortune is simply a start of a cycle. It's a major arcana card, it's a very fortunate card, hence the word fortune in its name. And the King of Swords is the person you're dealing with. <laughs> Perhaps you're not expecting this, right? You're not expecting this. That, that's the whole point of this spread. But it is at the same time a confirmation that yes, you got this King of Swords and uh, you guys are going to be moving forward, <laughs> okay? Getting the show on the road. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week.